was the day of the convention, and all through the hotel, all the nerds were arriving for an event that was swell. The dockies were hung in the booths with great care, in the hopes that the weebs would soon be there. There were Christmas trees everywhere to help make the con festive, and they all stood out great despite the halls being congested. All the nerds were arriving from near and afar. They got there in buses and also their cars. Everyone here was friendly and loved to say hi. Stop filming me now or you're going to die. There were sweaters galore, most of them red and green. Heck, some of these sweaters had contained funny memes. They took over the hotel when the day would begin, except for this gift shop and the pool from within. There were costumes all over and were made to look festive. They were creative and cool and had people invested. Some were covered in lights, others covered in tinsel. And there were more Santa hats here than mouse ears at Universal. All the furries were soft with no skin exposing, and all of the JoJo cosplayers were posing. There were superheroes too, all as strong as an ox. Then Solid Snake jumped out of this box. There were Deadpools and Soras and others alike. And too many people cosplaying as All Might! People checked out the vendors to spend all their cash. Waluigi said, Way! But he's still not in Smash. They sold plushies and movies and mystery bags. There were even pride booths for those that were gay. There was manga galore that would read left from right. And is that booth over there selling hentai? All right! Cosplay Deviant came selling hot photo prints. Adults only, it says. I think you all get the hints. They curtained their booths so nobody could see. And out front a nice woman would ask for ID. <laughs> Artist Alley had artists that sold art with such bliss. The Chalk Twins were there too, and HOLY SHIT THEY MADE THIS! When it was quiet, they drew in the sketchbook they brought to show off their art skills. Are you buying or not? The voice actor guests were all out of the norm, but for some reason, the most popular was Todd Habercorn. There was also a game room and a large ballroom station. Games from 16-bit past to the current generation. There were all kinds of game consoles and cabinets too, and Smash Brothers Ultimate to play with your crew. They had DDR, Time Crisis, and lots of PlayStations. They also had fucking Gundam pilot simulations! Ah! There were games that we've heard of, and some from Japan. And even an army vet snuck in to play Alien. That, that's all I got, I'm, I'm so sorry. There was a nice quiet library with manga to read. They had titles like Death Note, One Piece, and DB. They were selling things too, as for what, I don't know. And there was also this girl who was there just to sew. There was laughter and dancing and creative displays, and things from Japan, which is far, far away. It was big in size, with people walking to and fro. And also, yes, I'll be at the next Omni Fandom Expo. Yes, the comm was much fun. It had stuff nerds could crave. I'm sorry I forgot to get footage of the rave. And at the ending ceremony, they had all said goodbye. But they will return next year, so there's no need to cry. So until the next con, we'll see you all soon. Where we'll laugh and we'll play, and forget all our gloom. And our message to you before this video goes, Merry Christmas to all from Shaded Scythe Studios. Check out our website, we got shirts.